Hello and welcome to this week's Carrie Connects. I am psychic medium Carrie Muggs and each week I pull a card from a deck to let you know what's coming up for the week and the signs and symbols to watch for. So first off, last week, I don't know about any of you, but it kicked my trash. I, with the retrograde and the full moon and the eclipse and that card that we picked last week about the desert and being overwhelmed and making sure you're like not dehydrated, I, holy cow, that fit me to a T. So it's fun when it kind of fits, but I slept most of the time, drank a lot of water, did readings. It was crazy, crazy energy, crazy. So this week, hopefully it's going to slow down a little bit. Hopefully it will, but we'll see what's in store. So this week I'm using the Dragon Oracle deck by Diana Cooper. So um, I love, I love me a good dragon. I do love dragons. I have quite a few. Um, I have about three dr dragon decks and I don't know why I don't use them. So I pulled it out today. It's kind of interesting. If you know anything about me, I love to read books. And um, the Afterlife of Billy Fingers is one of the ones that has had, a, like that I remember a lot. I don't know why, but I remember a lot about it. And I have, a, I have ADHD, so I don't remember a lot of what, where, where I get these snippets sometimes when I read books. And um, this, The Afterlife of Billy Fingers, I do remember because he said in there to his sister, he'd passed over and he came back to her. Um, it was an inter interesting read, but he told his sister that we all have a spiritual dragon that watches over us and protects us. And I thought that was so kind of cool. I thought that was so kind of cool. So. This deck has a dragon with a fire breathing dragon on the each on the back of each card. And then each card has a <coughs> different dragon. Sorry, I started to get my throat. <clears> throat> okay. So, so let's hope we're going to shuffle the deck. Let's hope that this week is a little bit less stressful than last week. Oh, well, it doesn't look like it's going to be. Fire dragon. Fire dragon that burns up the lower energies around you, which is good. Um, you are safe and protected. Be determined and inspired and clear your soul pathway. So this is about clearing your energy. This is about letting go of all that stuff that happened last year. It's interesting to me, though, that last, last week, I mean, it's interesting to me, though, that last week was about the desert and dry and it was orange. And then this week is about fire kind of same element like not no not the same element because earth is different than fire but just kind of like the dry orange color i guess but fire dragon this um burning up the lower frequencies around you so i'm assuming i'm not assuming but last week was a lot of spiritual growth it had to have been with all of everything that was going on in the area for the collective with the full mood, the retrograde, the eclipse, all of it. I knew it was going to be kind of a really big roller coaster as it was. So um, sometimes you get retrograde shadow or sometimes you get some of the lost ends of this healing. Like I've told you before, when we heal spiritually or when we raise frequency, our spirit goes up pretty high and our body takes some time to catch up to that. And so sometimes it can feel really fatigued or really kind of like lollygag. So this week for what's coming up for you is that you're burning away old or low frequencies, all of that stuff, because you raised your frequency this past week. Um, this week, you're going to be the, the dragon. I just want you to imagine that there's a dragon with you that's going, <laughs> I don't know, that is going to burn the lower frequencies around you or burn what doesn't work for you or clear that path. So it's not necessarily that you have to let it go. It's kind of saying they're getting rid of it. Like you're going, it's going to clear your path because they've done this frequency raise for the last, the last week. And so now it's time to clear your path this week. And by clearing your path, that could mean anything like just kind of not being interested in what doesn't serve you anymore. So not actually trying to let it go, but just not being interested, just kind of not doing what doesn't work for you. Just being like, you know, I just don't feel that anymore. I don't want to eat that anymore. I don't want to do that anymore. It just doesn't work for me anymore. And know that even though it brings up that it's clearing low frequencies or you're clearing low frequencies this week or you're clearing out the closet, 
This could even be just like spring cleaning your house, which is crazy because it is spring, but it could be like that you decide on a whim this week to just start spring cleaning your house. It is kind of crazy too because this is the week I'm kind of, I'm on vacation. So I am going to be like just chilling and clearing pathways and kind of deciding what's right for my business. And I'm actually going to be spending time with my husband. He took off that week too. So that's going to be like clearing ways in relation for our relationship and paths that way and family things. So this is kind of an all around clearing the path for your whole life, not just your business, not just relationship, not just family, but all of it and your health. Um, so what I want you to realize too, is when we clear, when you're clearing these, Lower frequencies and lower frequencies, I mean by lower energies, things that don't serve you, things that make you tired, energy drama. Um, it could be even like spiritual energies that might be around you or negative energies or gossip or talking bad about people or just negative complaining or things like that. This is going to start clearing up this week. And it's gonna be good for you. But here's the thing, even though you're gonna be clearing up this stuff, I want you to know that you're protected because clearing these things can actually sometimes leave you feeling vulnerable and leave you feeling unsafe and leave you feeling overwhelmed and tired, kind of like last week's card, the overwhelmed thing. So just know that you're protected. You're always gonna be protected and watched over during this clear pathway. And I kinda of don't feel like this is like spirit doing this for you. I feel like this is you finally realizing this is what's working for me and this is not. And it's kind of like a letting go kind of thing without without letting go, without having a hard time letting go of it. It's almost like you're just gonna be like, huh, that just doesn't seem right for me to do anymore. So watch for that this week because I think that that's what's gonna happen. It's not like something's gonna be taken away from you. It's not like you're gonna have to let go of something you really love. It's gonna be some like, it's gonna be like, wow, I just don't think that works for me anymore. And it'll be a good thing, okay? So you're gonna be protected. And it also says, I can't, sorry, I have to get my glasses. Um, be determined and inspired. So this is gonna bring in, because you're clearing out old and you're letting, you're gonna be letting in new. So this is gonna be um, giving you inspiration, giving you cr creativity and be determined to follow through with it. Be determined to go with it because you're, and because you're going to be moving in a different direction and sometimes that can be scary so just be determined to follow through with it and clear your soul pathway so if this is clearing your soul pathway like i said before it's going to be clearing everything it's going to be clearing stuff out of relationships stuff out of business stuff out of career stuff out of health so because it's going to help your soul not just different parts of your spirit your soul so things to watch for this week there are no numbers on these cards so for protection, I'm going to give you um, 444 four, four, and 333. Three. So 444 four, four means your angels, your protective guides, they're watching over you, they're with you. And 333 three, three means that your, your ancestors and your guides are with you. And I'm also going to give you 555. Five, five. So it's 3, 4, and 5, like right in a row. So it's going to be easier for you to remember. Because 5 means change is coming. And I really believe that this is like a new a new start or a new beginning or a new yeah so clear out clear out old clutter in your life in your soul in your spirit in your home clear out that and let something new come because new is coming something new is is coming for coming and you have to clear out the old to allow the new to come in so signs and symbols to watch for 333-444-555 and of course a dragon and fire gonna go we're gonna do fire so you can be so fire breathing dragon awesome um fire and dragon and that's cool because it's like simple simple signs this week it's not like a whole bunch of different things that you can look for and stars so dragon fire and stars that's awesome so love to see how you guys see the signs and symbols for show up for you this week and please know that you've got this You've got everything you need inside of you. You're the one who determines what you want and what you don't want. You have your free will and you get to decide. You have a choice. You get to decide. It's not like you're just like reacting to whatever happens. You get to decide. So if there is a conversation going on that's kind of gossipy, you get to decide whether or not you want to stay in it. If there's a point where you want to complain about something, you get to decide whether or not you want to do that. I always told my kids growing up, 
you can change whatever you complain about you can change somewhere down the line you can change it so i love you guys i hope you have an awesome week and i will see you next week